there was a ton of people with like U.S. everything. They're like, go America. And I was just like, looked at them like, what? You guys are, I felt like we were family. I was just like, you guys are here. I was like, I don't even know you, but thanks. You were the first person to win a gold medal at this entire Olympics, but you're not the hardcore athlete type that we're used to seeing. I mean, your routine the night before your biggest day of competition, you didn't go work out or visualize your run or anything. What did you do? I was uh, I was eating snacks watching the opening ceremonies. Eating snacks, a bunch huh? of chocolate and onion rings and chips and stuff. So, yeah, I mean, that's the beauty of snowboarding. You don't have to be some uh, mega athlete, like work out all the time. I do have to stop you about the onion rings as well because you made one of my favorite photos of the <laughs> Olympic Games, which was the Olympic rings out of onion rings yeah. the night before your big day. It just made sense. You know? <laughs> it just made sense. And you've had great Twitter photos this entire run. You had you in the Bolshevik style hat. That was yep. pretty good. And the language you've been dropping on Twitter. Most people know what gnarly means. They know what shredding means. Stoked, but totally I need right. But I need some more of the sage dictionary. Yeah, so we got uh, the first and foremost, we got spice. Okay. And what does that mean? It uh, pretty much means anything you want it to mean. <laughs> you could just be like, oh, like, you're a spice, or, you know, oh, that trick was spicy, man. Between the vocabulary and the hair, you've got a lot of Jeff Spicoli comparisons <laughs> going on. I've got a lot of that. It's been pretty funny to see. <laughs> you dig that? I'm down. I'm fully down. I do know the movie, and uh, I think it's pretty funny that people are comparing it. Fast Times at Sochi, you know. <laughs> Why is it important to you to march to your own beat? Uh, it's just, I mean, it's how I was raised, you know, like I, I was never on a, a team really or uh, had coaches growing up. It was just me and my brother and my friends snowboarding and we just did whatever we wanted to. And that's how we learned like all the tricks that we do now. I mean, that's just where I came from, just marching to my own tune. <laughs> And, and you approached your event in a uniquely you way. You were saying, hey, maybe I'll just try this trick I've never tried before ever. This is the <laughs> Olympics. Were you worried that you weren't going to be able to land it? Did you think about that? I honestly like, didn't even think about uh, landing it or even throwing it, really. Most people plan what they're going to do in the Olympics. Yeah, that's, what, like, that's the beauty of slope style and snowboarding. You don't really have to have a a set out run, you know, you can really just uh, go and be creative with your whole run and you can still take home a gold medal. All right, you want to show off the medal? Yeah, I would love to. <laughs> How does it taste? It doesn't taste that good, actually. <laughs> News flash. <laughs> Guys, uh, Sage's family is not here with him because he says that he makes his mom too nervous, then his mom in turn makes him too nervous, and that he just prefers to be mellow.